Hello again, this is Nev, and in this short video, we will add a search box to our form that we created so that we can search any of our companies. Remember, you could have a uh, company which is a, a database with a thousand or a million companies. Now, if I start typing here, S I L L, it will or SM, it will uh, immediately start to find your companies. Tab and bingo. All right, I'll close that. Well, actually, I'll just put that over this side for a minute. In our databases, we were keeping copies. So copy, paste. Today is now the 25th. So that means I can go back and get my old style if I do not like this database. Here we go. Uh, we created a form the other day and here it is forms calls by company I'm going into the design view now in the header bar here I'm going to add what we call a combo box so I click that put it in here we can modify it a little bit later now uh, I do want the combo box to get values from the company table, uh, but I also want it to find a record on my form based on that value. So it'll put the code automatically behind this and it will use uh, a, an operation. When this changes, it will run that code and find the form, find the page that's necessary. So next, I want just the company name. And here is the company name. Now I can make that a little wider if I want to. Uh, you could adjust this if you had two or three fields or a key field. Uh, let's call this CBO because it's a combo box. Uh, I'm going to call it find company. Uh, and that's there now. Here, I actually, whoops, control Z, uh, I want to say that this is uh, find your company. Okay. Now, uh, that may well work straight away. So let's run it. And deep style, uh, small apple. Blue Moose, look at that, quick as a flash. By the way, this record counter is for the subform, and the bottom record counter is for the main form for companies. This one is for the calls from that company. Thank you.